Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to another baby account update. Now, this is my third video. My apologies for the delay in this. There's been a lot of things going on both with me and uh, the game, you know, with patch 6.3, uh, the heat storm that I'm currently in, which is why I'm not on uh, screen for, you know, the last week or so in my videos. Things have been a bit of a mess. But, you know, I have been doing my baby account every single day and I want, you know, now's a good time to do an update. So, I'm level 57. And uh, I've recently unlocked ISO 8, which is really nice because now I've been able to start farming that and I've been able to start applying that to my characters. Uh, so today we're going to go over everything that I've been up to, uh, the characters that I'm using, the character, you know, my arena status, uh, you know, what my roster kind of looks like and uh, the kind of characters that I'm farming right now as well. So if you're ready to go, then let's boil this down. I want to start in the arena actually really quick before we move on and so I don't remember where I was at the last time I did a video but I've been able to weasel my way close to the top 500. Uh, this has helped especially since I've unlocked ISO 8 and I have ISO 8 on my characters. You can see that I have a bit of a ragtag group of minions here, not actual minions but you know, it, it, it's not, not a huge amount of synergy, a lot of standalone type characters. Uh, Shang-Chi is really good, Gambit's really good, if you, yeah, even at one star, I have him at one star, I wish I had more. Of course, because then he'd be even stronger. Uh, Silver Surfer, who I have at three star. Uh, Thor and Mighty Thor. I have four star for Thor and uh, four star for Mighty Thor. I didn't manage to get too many shards in Summer of Thunder because I'm too low level to really compete in many of the events. Uh, but as far as my power goes, I'm at 127k now. And I kind of wanted to show off, you know, the types of characters, the types of players that are in my arena shard. That they, People are kind of using a bit of a random ragtag as well. To be honest, there's some pretty big, like, 187k. I don't know if I'd be able to beat this, because Gamora, maybe, just the, even the randomness here, I might not be able to get through. Uh, but I, I wanted to do one really quick uh, battle, just to see what I could do. And, you know, I'm genuinely curious. Uh, let's do this 465. It's only 147k. Um, it's kind of random. I, I try to find, you know, <laughs> random types of characters. I do have Valkyrie, and I'm wondering if it would be worth subbing in Valkyrie at some point, because of the synergy between the three of them. But I think that these three are really powerful standalone characters. So I, I don't know, maybe, because I have red stars for them, but I'm also getting more shards for um, Shang-Chi and stuff. And I think once I hit level 58 or 60, once I get the 6664 abilities, I think it's going to be really strong. So I just want to kind of do this. See if Let's see if we can beat this. I don't know. So it's pretty random. So I think that's why my characters are random too, but I think theirs are more random. I'm going to start off by ability blocking Shang-Chi, and I think that's probably the safe thing to do. And uh, we're going to kick everyone in the face, right? Unfortunately, nobody has buffs yet. Uh, and then we'd probably ability block with Gambit on Luke Cage. So he doesn't ultimate. So he doesn't give any buffs or anything like that. The defense ups. And that'll be really easy. We did take a lot of damage from Wolverine. But I'm just going to use alt for damage. And chuck my hammer. And we're already at a 5v3. So I think that's pretty good. And we'll just do that here. I really need to get rid of Shang-Chi, though. And we'll probably just do that really quick. And yeah, this was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, this was punching up like 30k or something. But, you know, my team is way better than their team. So really, that's what it comes down to. Um, when you see people running like Cersei or any of the Eternals, that's bad news. Because the Eternals have passives that give buffs to everyone in the arena, regardless of being Eternals or not. So defense up for Cersei and offense up for Icarus, I'm pretty sure. Or at least Cersei gives defense up to everyone on the team in arena. So that got me to 465. Uh, you know, it really varies. You know, like I'm not sure if I could beat this team because I have like really random synergy. There's a Cersei there. I have run into quite a few Cerseys actually. Uh, and then Kestrels. I don't have Kestrel either. But I think that Gambit actually might be better than Kestrel because I think that she's a he's a more recent release and he pings every single time they take a turn, regardless of defense down. So that's my team right there. I don't know how much further I'm going to end up going, but if I can manage to be in the top 500, under 500 rather, or whatever you want to call it, then I would be in this category here, which would be awesome if I could stay in there. Uh, I guess it just depends on how active I am and, you know, things like that. So, secondly, I want to talk about ISO 8, because I unlocked the ISO 8 campaign, and I want to tell you that I managed to complete the whole thing with just uh, Wakandans, more or less. Wakandans and, and Gambit. So, I have... Oh, and Sharon Carter. Did I use Sharon Carter? Oh, yeah, a very weak Sharon Carter. So I have like a 7k, you don't need very high team power to clear this campaign, which is great. So I know that not everyone's going to have Gambit. Gambit was obviously a very strong member, 
But, you know, my Wakandans are about 10k each, and so Gambit really did carry that, but I d you don't necessarily need him. Uh, I was also really uh, lucky to unlock Cap Sam, but I didn't need to use him for this either. So these are the five characters that I used, and I managed to clear this no problem. Uh, as you can see, like, even at the very last level for ISO 8 energy, they're like... There's only five enemies here, but, you know, they're in, like, the 13k range. So you don't need to be really very high in order to clear this. And uh, the Wakandans are probably the best way to do that, because that they're early, they're available very early on. And they're worth building, because you're going to need to build them anyways for Chaos Theory and for Doom War. I forget which chapter. I think it's Chapter 2, maybe Chapter 3, uh, where you actually need them uh, because they're better than AIM now, so it's better worth to gear them. So I want to talk about my my campaigns and what I'm farming, outside of ISO 8 anyways. Uh, for Mystic, I don't think I'm farming anything in here yet. I am waiting to get into Mystic 2, I believe. Where's Miss Marvel? She's in here somewhere, right? 2-6. So that's what I'm kind of waiting for, and I'm going to farm more over there. And that's it from that, probably. For Cosmic, I don't think I'm farming anything in here. Um, there's there's gear and stuff, but I, I'm not actually actively farming anything in here. And I don't know if I will, because I don't know if there's any good characters in here. Psylocke, not right now, unless they get a rework for a future team. For Nexus, though, there's a lot of stuff I need from Nexus. I'm actually stuck on Nexus 5-8, because it's a really dumb node. There's, like, so many hulks, and you have to protect, like, a shield operative agent, and it's, like, impossible. Because I don't have a tank! So... <laughs> It's a really terrible note, actually. Uh, but for Chapter 6, I'm looking for 6-3 Okoye, because I really want to get on farming that ASAP. I don't have her unlocked yet, so I really need to do that. Uh, this unlocks a level 58, which is actually just around the corner for me. So hopefully I, I'm going to need to get through that other note, I guess, that 5-8 note or whatever. Uh, and I don't think there's any, anyone else in here that I plan on farming. 7-3 Falcon, don't need that. Hand Assassin, don't need that. Kingpin, don't need that for just now. Uh, but I'm farming Black Panther here in Chapter 4, 4, 9, 4, 3 for Squirrel Girl. I am not farming Nebula. I am farming Vision from 3, 9. I am farming Kree Cyborg from 3, 6 for Nick Fury. And that's it for Nexus. As far as villains go, not too many nodes in here. I'm not farming uh, Nobu yet at this stage. I'm not farming anyone here. I'm not farming anyone here. I am farming occasionally uh, uh, Merc Lieutenant. For Payday, that's kind of important too, you want more money. And for Villains 1, I am also occasionally farming Black Widow, uh, because I want to unlock Iron Man now. So previously, uh, probably since my last video anyways, I wasn't going too hard on S.H.I.E.L.D. characters. Um, eventually, I don't need Iron Man right now, but at some point I will. You know, well, when I get, if I get to Endgame or whatever, you know, because he's part of that Bionic Avengers team. But I don't really need him right now. Uh, for Heroes... I am farming occasionally magic, not always. Uh, Winter Soldier, uh, up to 5 star for Omega Red. And Kree Reaper here for Nick Fury, same reason as Cyborg. I am farming Miles, if I haven't done that, oh, I did already do that already. And Kree Noble for, uh, for Nick Fury as well. So you want to do that, there's two more shards. And sometimes I farm Mysterio, not always. Um, I'm not farming Yondu anymore, so I'm, I I kind of got the use out of my, my Ravagers for... Uh, the villains campaign, but I don't really need them anymore. I actually didn't really need Yondu that much. I did unlock him, but I didn't actually need him. So that's what I'm doing. Oh yeah, I want to talk about the uh, the Valkyrie campaign. So for those of you who are a lower level account, I can't do heroic. Obviously, it's too hard. Uh, I, I did manage to clear most of hard mode. I might go back and do this one, uh, Valkyrie one eight in uh, hard mode. I, I don't know. Maybe something happened and like Ghost Rider bat me in the face too many times, and I, I cleared it, but I didn't I didn't three star it. So I have three starred everything else though. And the problem is, of course, that you guys probably know this that I ran out of fragments in some of these no nodes. So one, two, three. Uh, sorry, one, two, four, and five are completely tapped. Uh, these this will be tapped soon, and then that'll be tapped soon, and then it really just leaves six nine and maybe eight if i can go back and three star that so that means that there's a finite number of fragments that you can farm over the course of the event forces me back into easy which is not a lot of fragments let's be honest and as far as how many stars that i'm probably going to get for valkyrie might be a bit on the more limited side so that's where we're going to our roster <sighs> And as far as blitzing goes, I'm not I don't have a lot of characters. So I can't really compete in some of these like the the current quick rumble blitz really. I could get the score, but I can't clear the milestone for that because I don't have the Asgardians at the appropriate uh, star level to get the to maximize the points there. Uh, for party in paradise, this is I don't know, if, for those of you who who cared about this, I didn't really get too far. Uh, but, you know, any bit of extra resources for a baby account is good, you know, even though I'm not going to be able to complete these events. As far as Summer of Thunder goes, you know, I didn't get a lot 
of extra points, maybe about 13,000 points on top of the 50,000 that we got. So I didn't make a ton of progress there. And you can see the Midgard Mash and Bifrost Beach Day and stuff, you know, it was not super stellar either. But that's just how things are. So let's talk about my roster now. So this is what I have. And these hearts are characters that I know I'm going to need to level for some reason or another. So for Shang-Chi, this is part of my arena team. Uh, Valkyrie, uh, the hero has guardians for Scourge eventually. I'm probably going to need this. Killmonger, he triples in Flash events and more Wakandans. M'Baku, Wakandan, and Chaos Theory, Squirrel Girl for Scourge, America Chavez for Scourge, Sharon Carter, I don't know, Secret Avengers maybe if I get to raiding, if they're still the raid team, uh, Ghost Spider for Web Warriors for Scourge and raiding in the future maybe, Vision, same thing, Miss Marvel, same thing for Scourges, and I recently unlocked Capsam for Lucky Mega Orb. I, again, I guess in the same boat as Sharon Carter, so I'm slowly kind of leveling them up with gold. Because as you can see, and then we have Spider Punk, actually, so I have all of the Web Warriors, actually, uh, except for OG. I haven't really leveled them up much. And then my Kree characters for when I eventually get the star, three star, four star? I don't remember how much I need for Nick Fury. So I kind of need to level them up all as well. So I'm kind of doing a lot of things at once, but I have a lot of gold to spend. Because if you go back, I have a lot of gold. I got like 29 million gold. And the reason for this is because the levels don't cost a lot at this point. My levels at like even to level 57, like it's like maybe 50, uh, 60k per level. And so it, I'm not actually, I'm gaining quite a bit of it and not actually spending a lot of it. I'm not spending a lot of it in the store right now. And so I have a lot, I, surprisingly, I somehow have the training mods to do all of this and just keeping up with my levels as I gain levels, which takes a couple of days now, uh, and keeping up with my main arena team. And so if they're not on the hearts, it's I'm not, they're not a huge focus anymore for me. This is the rest of my roster. Deadpool maybe at some point for Payday, but right now. And Winter Soldier at some point I'll have to as well because of the Omega Red event, but that's going to be down the line. And not really doing much else here. I don't. There's a couple of characters that I really wish I had unlocked. I have Sif unlocked finally, actually. That's nice someday if I need to use her. And uh, there's a bunch of characters that I'm close to unlocking that maybe I would get some value out of. I need to get a Koye for Chaos Theory, and then I can start doing Chaos Theory as soon as I unlock a Koye. Uh, Maria Hill, I've been farming her in the in the War Store, and then a lot of this is just random orb accumulation that I'm not really, you know, doing a ton with, really, to be honest. Uh, so I want to talk about my my stores though, and and sort of what I'm up to right now. And for the Blitz Store, honestly, for whenever I get it, I'm just doing it to Shang Chi. I might switch at 5-star, but I do feel it's worth taking Shang-Chi to 5-star. He is absolutely the best character in the Blitz store, and he is a very powerful character. Uh, he is like it, probably a top 5 farmable character at this point in the game, because I think that he is very, very good. And uh, he's the best available character for new players. Better than Captain Marvel. I mean, there's just so many characters you don't need in here. Proxima, Misty, White Tiger, Domino, Coles, you know, you don't need any of these maybe She-Hulk now that they've had the rework, but not right now. I don't think it's a priority for new players to really pick up on She-Hulk. I don't think you need that right now. Uh, and a lot of these other characters you don't really need either. Uh, there is Miles in here, so if you want to like fast track farm him a little bit faster, I might do that instead of, and then get him to five star. Uh, once I get Shang-Chi to five star. Miles is probably the only, and, and OG Spider-Man actually. Uh, so the two of them are probably the only other characters that you really should be farming out of here. You don't really need anyone else. And actually, despite what people might tell you, you don't really need Gamora either, I don't think. Gamora and Nebula and Philovel make a good trio for Arena, but I think it's a lot of resources for a team that you're not going to... For, for They're over a year old, and they're not bad characters. It's just that I don't think it's worth it right now. I think there's more meta stuff on the horizon that's worth focusing your attention on. And nothing really in here, except for Kree Royal Guard, who I actually don't have unlocked, and I will need that as well as part of Nick Fury, so I probably will need to pivot uh, from Shang-Chi at 5-star. I think it'll be worth doing at that stage, so probably Kree Royal Guard and then Spider-Man and Miles. That's probably on the agenda. Maybe do a mix of that, I don't know, or try to get Kree Royal Guard to 3-star so that I can get Nick Fury unlocked and then switch back to the Web Warriors. Uh, for raids, uh, I'm not actually... You know what? I'm, I'm doing raid orbs, believe it or not. I'm actually just... Whenever I get clumps of raid credits... Uh, I'm just pulling like 10 raid orbs at a time because I don't really need anyone here rushed anymore And so I'm okay with kind of the widespread of shards for cheaper because you do get nine shards for 900 credits and so that's a lot cheaper than buying it directly uh, for 1400 So I'm okay with that for arena. Uh, I'm buying Mbaku still 
Uh, I'm going to take him to 5 star after that. I'm not really sure. There's so many characters, just kind of like Bliss, that you don't really need. Uh, a lot of these characters you don't really need uh, for any reason. Uh, Deadpool's a bit on the cheaper side, so I might do this for Payday, because I do want to start getting some of the Payday levels done. Uh, other than that, nothing in here you really need. You don't even need Time Dial or Crystal. You don't need Swarm. You don't need Red Guardian. You don't need Shatterstar. You don't need any of this, really. You know, you don't even need Phylovel and Dagger. If Phylovel was 500, I would consider it, but she's not, and I don't want to spend that much credits. And you don't need Dagger, uh, because without Deathpool being farmable, there's absolutely no point. For War Store, all I'm doing is Maria Hill. Uh, however, Scarlet Spider will be showing up soon, so I'll probably be doing that too. So I'll probably be a mixture of Maria Hill and Scarlet Spider and nothing else. I'm not going to buy any gear. I'm not going to waste my, my credits on purple gear in here. And uh, nothing really. Not, and that's about it. So I think on the next update, there's, we're going to be talking about Cosmic Crucible. We're going to be talking about um, uh, how that is at level 60. I'm only three levels away for Cosmic Crucible. Holy shit. So I'm wondering what that's going to look like. Is it just going to be me fighting hand minions? Like, I honestly have no idea. So that'll be kind of interesting, and I think that's going to be the next update sometime after level 60. So uh, let me know in the comments down below if I didn't cover anything that you'd like to see. If you have any questions about this account, anything about your own progress that you'd like me to answer, either hit me up here in YouTube or hit me up on Discord and I can get back to you. So uh, that's the end of this baby account update, and until next time, stay safe and healthy. I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out.